The tank is out. We just carried it upstairs, man. I haven't worked that hard in a while, man. What's going on, guys? Welcome back, Leo Pato TV. Today, I'm coming at it again with another fish tank video. I'm going over to a friend of mine's house. He has a 150 gallon saltwater coral reef fish tank that's been set up for maybe about 10 years and it's fully running and he's gonna be moving and he needs to empty out his tank. I'm going over, I got bins over here in my truck. So we just removed this big piece of coral here at the top and we got a bunch of other small pieces as well we got we're still now working our way all the pump and skimmers everything off just trying to organize all the coral into their own buckets and whatnot so this is uh this is definitely the start long way to go He's uh, taking off these polyps here with a razor blade right now. So we're just trying to salvage as much as we can of this coral and livestock. Scraping off the uh, polyps off the glass over here. Offloading more rock. Still, we got ma majority of it out. Still quite a bit. We're stirring up some of the sand bed now. So, just wanted to take a quick video. Oh, watch this front piece, man! It might hit the glass. Yeah, put another hand on it, brother. It's pivoting on the bottom. Okay, I just need you over here. I'll pass you this, and then I'll pull them out. Okay, coming. is empty of live rock and fish and coral. We're just emptying out the remaining water. 
Um, we're gonna. I'm not gonna be taking this sand bed with me, crush, crush coral, even though it might be useful to take. But we're gonna leave it. Just put it in a bucket. But yeah, the tank is empty, and we've got uh, some loading to do. We're gonna load it into the vehicle soon. But in the meantime, while we're draining out the remaining water, we're just gonna siphon out some of the debris here. So the game plan is we're just gonna drain this out. We're probably gonna disconnect the plumbing. We're gonna carry the tank upstairs so we can clean it up outside, load up my truck, take it home, and fill up my tank. I got quite a bit of work ahead of me still, so stick with me, guys. Oh man, this hey. is crazy. The tank is out, we just carried it upstairs, man. I haven't worked that hard in a while, man. But we made it, we put it outside on the driveway, tank's all empty, we still gotta load all the fish and coral and live rock into the truck. It's just sitting upstairs by the front door, but tank is officially gone. That's it. New homeowners can do what they wanna do. But uh, we got some work ahead of us. I'm gonna say I'm only like almost halfway there. Still gotta get it home and put it all in my tank. Let's go back in the fish tank room, have a quick peek. See what it looks like from back here. So yeah, sump is gone. We carried it upstairs, tank is gone. We still got the lights and uh, long way to go. Stick with me guys. So guys, we're just out here right now. We're cleaning up the tank. We just gave it a nice rinse here onto the driveway. We got the sump over here all cleaned up as well. So guys, truck's all loaded. Got a thing of salt. I got some rock in here. I uh, got some bins in here that if I open, it might even fall out. We got a bunch of stuff over here, stuff in here, stuff in here. We got stuff everywhere, man. So we're gonna go home and deal with this bad boy. All right, guys, I'm just on the way home right now. It's like 5.30 p.m. It took a lot of time to do what we had to do and I still have a lot of more work ahead of me. I got work tomorrow morning. I'm gonna try to bring you guys along the way as much as I can, but I'm gonna be very busy. My hands are gonna be wet, but I'm gonna do what I can with the time that I have. Guys, uh, stick with me. I appreciate you guys tuning in. I got a lot of work here on my plate, but I'm gonna bring you guys along the way and show you guys the final uh, tank and everything once it's all set up. So I appreciate it, much love, and uh, we'll check you guys on the next one. I'm gonna get it.